The life of the great 19th century composer Frederick Chopin is an excellent demonstration of the human capacity to use emotional suffering and illness as sources of creative inspiration. Chopin grew up in Warsaw, but he moved to Paris at age 20 after the Polish uprising of 1830 was crushed by a massive Russian troop presence. Chopin lived his entire adult life as an exile in Paris. During the years that he was in Paris, he was desperately homesick for family and friends. He was heartbroken that Poland was no longer a sovereign state. Chopin became convinced that even though Poland had been obliterated politically and militarily, he was certain that the world would remember Poland if it could hear distinctly Polish music composed by a world-class artist. Now, Polonaises and mazurkas are Polish national dances, and Chopin made his advocacy for the Polonaise and the mazurka the foundation of his life's work. The Polonaise is a courtly processional dance with a characteristic rhythm. Chopin took this rhythm and transformed the Polonaise into a stirring tribute to the bravery of the Polish freedom fighters. Mazurkas are of a different character. This was music that Chopin heard during trips to the countryside as a youngster, the uh, folk tunes, peasant dances. And the mazurkas that Chopin composed while he was in France convey an aching sense of longing for his homeland. Chopin had serious respiratory problems from the time he was a youngster. And when he became an adult, his illness grew more severe. He was coughing up blood. He was diagnosed with tuberculosis. He also had episodes of complex visual hallucinations, which suggest the presence of some undiagnosed medical illness like temporal lobe epilepsy. It's probably not a coincidence that a man who spent so many years being deathly sick a man who hallucinated images of phantoms and corpses would compose the most famous funeral march ever written. Chopin died at age 39. He 
was buried at Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, but at his request, his heart was cut out of his body and it was brought back in an urn to Poland where it remains to this day at the Church of the Holy Cross in Warsaw. In the decades following Chopin's death, his music became an increasingly potent symbol of Poland's aspirations for freedom. Today, I believe his music stands as a universal expression of the triumph of the human spirit.